sounds of wind. The wind running through the forest and shaking the trees is something I've heard before. The tremors are growing more intense. We're closing in on the source. It's probably on the other side of that next thicket. The battle to decide the strongest is raging just behind those dense trees. My feet stop. A second before I burst into the open, I skid to a halt and hide myself. Masaka. Tosca also hides behind a tree and stares at the, at the disastrous scene in the clearing. The place is literally a battlefield. There are three servants fighting. Wait. One is the black giant berserker. Another is the white skull masked killer assassin. And the last one. The last one is. Hello? Uh, excuse moi. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but I was spoiled for Saber Altar. I did not as expect her to show up. Working for Zoken. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it, it is Ren. Tosca's voice is shaking. I thought they. I thought he, they failed at being able to take Saber's heart, though, so they couldn't. Oh no, it's the uh, I know never mind, I see. I see. I can't really hear her. Even though she's right next to me. Her whisper doesn't uh, doesn't register for some reason. The third servant. I'm seeing the one in, uh, the one clad in black armor for the first time. But Oh, I think that it's definitely Wei. She reminds me of someone I know really well. Yeah, rem reminds. <laughs> the Black Giant howls. An attack powerful enough to destroy a mountain swings through empty space, smashing down to the ground. Even the flying rubble doesn't cause her to falter. The source of the raging wind must be that black swordsman, and the black figure makes her way through Berserker's sword and the flying clods and attacks at his defenseless body. The anguish is, is is the giants. His body of steel can nullify almost any attack, but the black swordsman uh, cuts it like nothing. The sword stains the giant's side black, just like darkness consuming light. Ilya sounds like she's crying. 
キャスにとらわれてはもはや逃れられぬ二対一ならばまだしも三対一ではさしもの大英雄もここまでだろうってはあ、やっさバウタゾケンマトゾケンラフス The two masters, Ilya and Zoken, confront each other while their servants stand in front of them as shields. In front of Zoken is Assassin, who must have been defeated by Berserker. In front of Ilya is Berserker, his entire body covered in black. The ground beneath his feet is turned into a black pond. It's not soil. But a bottomless swamp, sealing his movements. Not only that, but black veins are coming out of the swamp, restraining the giant's limbs. I know what that is. That has to be the black shadow. But for an instant, It looks like something I know. The deafening crash shocks me back to reality. The situation is hopeless. Berserker is strong. Even though the shadow has nearly engulfed him, he still stands against the swordsman. But he's at his limit. The Black Swordsman charges and slashes at Berserker. Even if they are equally strong, Berserker's movement is further restricted with each passing second. Then, the balance will only tip further towards the Swordsman the longer they fight. I don't know about that, Zoken. His figure grows hazy. Also, the music is really loud in this part. <laughs> he vanishes from the forest, leaving Assassin behind. His presence, along with his figure, fades away. Zoken has disappeared. The only ones remaining are Assassin and Berserker. And the Black Swordsman raises, uh, raising her sword. Ilya murmurs in an emotionless voice. Are we just gonna sit here and do nothing? Like. What did he make of that? The giant advances with the roar. His advance is like a storm. Berserker charges, kicking away the black shadow that has swallowed him up to his knees. That's some fucking power. <laughs> it is an impossible action. The mud below him isn't the only thing binding him, as the black shadow is coiled all, uh, all about his body. He can't move forward. Berserker cannot even take a step forward with his body bound by the black shadow. For that reason, he tore his body apart. He grabs his chest and tore off the black shadow with a sound. 
Uh, I mean, if it gets uh, gets it off him, sure he'll probably heal, but still, that's just gross. Ripping his own chest apart. Ooh. He tore off his flesh along with the shadow, going deep enough to expose his innards. <laughs> The giant bursts into motion with the force of a whirlwind, uh, whirlwind behind it. The next swing will surely destroy the Black Swordsman. It will be his last attack. He's ripped his body apart and is executing this attack on the verge of his death. There's no way his attack isn't fatal. And in response, the, swords, uh, the, uh, the swordsman meets it with her strong attack. <laughs> Ilya starts to run. She dashes frantically to Berserker, as if she doesn't see the shadow expanding at his feet. Yeah! I can't do anything even if I go out now. I have no hope of winning against either the Shadow or the Swordsman. But still. But still, I have to stop Ilya. I jump out from behind the trees. I grab Ilya from behind as she runs towards Berserker. The mad warrior's roar. The strong wind and an explosion that even takes away my vision. They all flow into my numb ears at once. I hold Ilya in my arms as the wind knocks him to the ground. White light fills my vision and I can't even manage to stand up. No. Standing up never crosses my mind. My body feels hot. Something deep within me resonates with the attack. I don't understand why, but this heat is in resonance with the noble phantasm. My breathing is deadened, just like my vision. I can't do anything right now. My body will not function as a human being as long as that sword is engraved in my eyes. He, he's realizing they're not just similar. I'm entranced. My heart is taken away by something I only saw for an instant. That thing is an illusion, far superior to the numerous other noble, fa uh, noble phantasms. There are many that are crafted more splendidly, and with better skill. But the beauty of that noble phantasm is not its appearance. No. To describe this sword as beautiful would only dirty it. The sword isn't beautiful, but sacred. People's conception, legends weaved only out of hope. It's not a myth, nor is it inhuman work. It's a crystal trained by heart alone, and that is why that sword will reign as the strongest fantasy. My vision returns. The sky is lit with dark red light. And this dark like night. The light that split the forest must have been darkness itself. The fire is burning silently, but the air is still cold. It, is it something that freezes oxygen? Uh, that freezes oxygen instead of burning it? The darkly lit forest lowers its temperature. Uh, hey, Saber, <laughs> what's up? 
a swordsman is standing with the black fire in the background. With Ilya still in my arms, I glare at the pointed sword. I don't feel any hostility from the swordsman. I fear my death, and at the same time, grip my teeth in vexation. It's different. She's a different person. It's not just her hostility. She's. I don't feel any of the nobility I previously felt from her. Her helm breaks. It must have been Berserker's last attack. Her face is revealed. And although she's completely different, she's still the same. See. So There's no reply. The now golden eyes do not reveal anything, but plainly look down at us. Zero. Ilya's voice is trembling. A sword is pointed at her, and Berserker is sinking into the shadow behind Saber. The defeat of her servant, and her impending death. Any young girl would tremble in this situation. Yeah, but she's not just any young girl. To be... Fair. Save her. I shake off any unnecessary emotions. I hug Ilya harder, and put strength into my free right arm. Now it's not the time to be spaced out. I'm going to save Ilya. I'm going to save Ilya and return my home. So I can't just cower and wait for my death. Was that Archer helping us or was that Ryder finally catching up? Saber swings her sword. She tries to slash at me as I stand up. And, and at that instant, Harry's three arrows shot from her side. Archer! Uh, okay. Whatever you say, boss. The swords clash. Archer shot at Saber and attacked her without pause. But it doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah, that's not surprising. Even with his godlike speed, Saber easily repels his twin blades. <clears throat> Archer's acting strangely. Looking, I see that the. Oh no. I see that the, that the black shadow is entangling around his feet. <laughs> Uh, so she can talk. The cool voice is definitely Sabers. She easily smashes the black shadow and... Uh, Archer, now might be a time to stop holding back. <laughs> Sends Archer flying into the forest behind him. She struck with enough force to throw him back, in spite of his defense and the shadow holding his feet. Um, <clears throat> and once again. Saber confronts us silently. Her eyes. They tell me she is resolved to kill me if I do not hand Ilya over. Ilya lets go of my arm. 
It seems she wants me to hand her over. And the last switch is stripped inside my head. Oh. Oh, we are summoning some swords now, boy. I push Ilya behind me and grip the wooden sword with both hands. No. I hold it at the ready, right in front of me. I'll drive all of my power and magical energy as soon as Saber charges at me. That's all I can do now. I have nothing to say to her. I can't apologize. Nor can I tell her to come back. I can't say something like that when she hasn't said anything herself when she hasn't said anything herself. Saber is in front of me as an enemy. Then the only way to answer her is to fight with all my might. Come on, Shiro. I take aim. I won't even try to take her life at the cost of my own. Saber taught me that such tactics are useless. An attack with the premise of your death is only effective against an opponent as strong as you. Against Saber, I can't hope for something as good as a mutual kill. Yeah, probably not. Therefore, I'm only aiming at one spot. Her helmet shattered, so her head must be damaged somewhat. I think that's a bit, um, optimistic, but I guess it's the only thing you've got going for you, so. That's where I'm going to strike with all my might. I'll defeat my enemy and live on. Unless I get that clear image in my head, I won't even be a match against Saber. She's coming. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. I don't care if I look miserable. I don't care if I have to crawl on the ground. Unless I dodge this attack, I can never protect Ilya. Uh yeah, about that. I'm dead. I fought Saber before, <laughs> so I know this will be fatal. Yeah. The lightning fast attack comes from the upper left. Slicing through my neck will be as easy as mowing rice. But... My head is still attached. Saber's sword is soft just shy of my throat. Yeah, she's still in there. What happened? She silently sheaths her sword and jumps away. Could that be her reason? The black pond expands on the ground. The shadow is about to crawl out of there. I'm sure of it. That's the thing I saw at the park the other night. An unknown thing that's just like a cluster of curse. Thank Ah, uh... Saber walks over to the black mud. And... She sinks into the mud, just like Berserker did. I watch her until she completely disappears. I don't care why she's still in this world, or why she's my enemy now. 
Now that we're enemies, all we can do is fight. That is the nature of this war. But still, I think for a second that she wouldn't have been stained black like that if I had been stronger. Uh, yeah, we might want to dodge whatever Assassin's about to do to us. Tosca's voice, uh, Tosca's voice brings me back to myself. In front of me are the approaching Black Shadow and Assassin whose white mask is distorted with a smile. I take Ilya's hand and start running. <laughs> Ilya takes one sad glance at the mud that swallowed Berserker, then keeps back her tears as she, as she starts running. Ah. Uh, we run through the forest. In front of me is Tosca, leading the way. Behind us is Assassin, pursuing us through the trees. She must be worried about us, even though she could have skipped, uh, uh, skipped by now. She slows down and turns to look at us. Rin's not that heartless. She wouldn't just leave you. I know that the enemy is right behind us. But I can't shake him off. Servant Assassin is after us. There's no way I can shake him off when I have Ilya with. Ah. <laughs> uh, I hear an ominous voice right by my ear. Um. When I look to my side. I see a white death's head smiling as he looks the dagger. Uh, Ryder, might, right now might be a good time for you to catch up. <laughs> oh, was it Archer or Ryder? I'm still waiting for Ryder to, sh Ryder to show up. The masked figure is knocked away. While running beside me, Assassin was thrown off guard by a kick to the side. A kick has, has to be Ryder. No, Archer. Okay. Archer doesn't. Uh, Archer doesn't slacken his pace as he talks. Shingari wa Omae wa Ilya o tsurete nigeru. Ai ai. Isoge. Are ni oitsukare tara owari dazo. Archer's looking at assassin. And something else is coming from uh, from behind him. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not get caught by that. <laughs> it's after us. That shadow is coming after us, was staining the ground black. Archer. <laughs> Ah, man, it's it's so interesting hearing Okay, may, maybe I'm reading too much into this right, but Archer referring to Ilya as just Ilya instead of Ilya's feel and like his obvious Concern I feel I feel like it should tip off Rin and Shiro at this point. I would think, anyway. I don't know. Archer slows down a bit and goes behind us. At that instant, right before he leaves, he gives Ilya a look heavy with regret. I go through the forest with the sound of clashing swords at my back. As Assassin follows, he is obstructed by Archer's efforts.
Unable to sustain the offensive, Assassin is once again forced to retreat. Their attacks are matched. Even the daggers thrown at me are shot down, and it's obvious that Assassin is not uh, that Assassin is not in control of the fight. But it's not because Assassin is weak. Archer repels the multitude of daggers. His vigor is incompar uh, incomparable to before. The scales of victory are tipping towards Archer. I don't know why, but he is as strong as a fierce god right now. Because he is the hard-headed, the one, the only, badass, motherfucking superhero, <laughs> Emiya. <laughs> like, you, when, when he gets something in his head, you're not stopping him, Assassin, I'm sorry, you just, it's not happening. <laughs> He's too stubborn to, to die, it's like... Even if he, even if he wants to, like, you know, deny the whole superhero, like, at the end of the day, is he gonna let Ilya uh, just, just die? I don't, I don't think so. Like, that's, that's not who he is. With even his strongest attack repelled, Assassin raises his voice as he retreats. In response. Interest. Uh, well, you know, I guess Archer's dislike for himself isn't an unknown thing, to be fair. Archer must consider it his chance of victory. As Archer charges. He cuts the white skull with one blow. The black cloak scatters in all directions. Assassin retreats, clutching in his broken mask. It is not a retreat to regroup, but a retreat to save his life. The black servant runs away from Archer and disappears into the trees. Tuska looks relieved. Uh, behind her. Uh, um, no? How about no? It appears as if born from the tree's shadows. Ah, uh, uh, run. She looks behind her. At the same time, the black shadow extends its tentacle and... I won't make it even if I run. I'll witness Tosca getting pierced by that black tentacle. Um... No comment. <laughs> Archer? But the one I actually see him... Paled is Archer, who pushes Tosca aside. <laughs> Tosca looks up at Archer without comprehension. It's the end for Archer. He's still breathing, and he's not bleeding much. It should be possible for him to heal himself even if he's pierced, as long as it's not fatal. But somehow, I understand that Archer can't fight anymore. That thing kills servants. 
No matter how strong a heroic spirit one is, one cannot beat that black shadow as long as one is summoned as a servant. I vaguely comprehend that fact for some reason. Saving your life. Tosca must have felt the same thing. She calls to Archer with a trembling voice, stands up unsteadily, and... Archer's shout stops her cold. <sighs> the black shadow throbs. The forest is dying. All the magical energy here is being sucked by that shadow. For some stupid reason, it reminds me of a water balloon. You know, I can kind of see it. It's like putting more water into an already full balloon. It's expanding beyond capacity. And I get the bad image of it explode. We'll get sucked up. If we stay here, we'll be engulfed for sure. Archer pulls out the tentacle that pierced him and starts to run to Tosica. Then I. Um. Archer's got Rin, so I'll protect Ilya. I'll protect Ilya. I can't try to save two people. Tosca has Archer, but Ilya has no one. Then... I have to take Berserker's place. I mean, good luck with that. I tackle Ilya. Forcing her to the ground. And the instant I cover her body with my own. Uh, my vision and perception is filled with black. What was what? Oh, this this is familiar. It's hot. My body is almost blown away. The condensed and released wave of magical energy rages through the forest as a storm. It's not there. My vision is painted black. If it's this dark, even though I can clearly see, a black sun must have come falling down. My body's not there. It probably melted from the heat. My body's not there. The loss of my sense of touch is more disgusting than the pain. But that's a problem. I can't protect Ilya unless I have a body. I mean, yeah. The Black Shadow tries to take Ilya. I flail my right arm to drive it off. Embracing her, uh, embracing her with that same arm, I press her to the ground. <laughs> when did they, you, yeah, I mean, you hear it clear as day. Sheesh. Sounds like 80, 80 miles, maybe 90. Maybe that's a bit much, but definitely more than 60. Uh, and I finally realize... My body's there. My body must be there. Or else I, I couldn't have protected Ilya. Uh, uh, yeah? Man, I panicked too much. I, th I think panic is warranted. All I lost was my left arm. Um, all you lost. All you lost was... <laughs> I think, I think that's kind of important. 
it vanished without a trace. The rest of my body is still there. It's still there. But I still have the sense of loss. I haven't lost all of me. But... But it feels like I lost my whole body. It's disappearing. The shadow fades away without trace. It's energy spent. Ilya's safe. My ears must be numb, as I can't hear what she's saying. What happened to Tosca? Archer is there. His red cloak is painted a deeper red, and he's so weakened that he might disappear in the next second. How strange. Why is she here? そんなことをすれば、あなたは… Give what away? Archer and Ryder are talking. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Good question. And in the end... Oh. He tenderly runs his fingers through Tosca's hair. My vision fades to black. The dark sun no longer shines on the forest. Then... The darkness must be falling on my consciousness. Uh... That... Doesn't sound good. Oh, my boy! Oh. Archer bids farewell in a voice that sounds just like mine. Oh, gee! Oh, gee, I wonder why. Hmm. 